morning, JHS. I'm Katie. And I'm Ray. And this is Line Ledger Direct. about National School Lunch Week. October 12th through 16th is National School Lunch Week. The School Nutrition Association stresses the importance of eating a healthy meal every day while honoring the hardworking and dedicated cafeteria workers for providing meals for the children. The slogan for this year's National School Lunch Week is All-Star School Lunch. All-Star School Lunch is a slam dunk to help students learn about the importance of eating healthy and being active. The NBA-inspired campaign features five basketball teams, each comprised of a healthy school lunch menu item and coached by a current or former NBA player. The campaign runs from August 2009 to October 2009, ending on the National School Lunch Week, October 12th through the 16th. Monday, we will be having CP's Pizza, a whole grain pizza served with carrot sticks and kiwis. Tuesday, Dwight Howard's Veggie Quesadilla, served with Mexicali corn and apple slices. Wednesday, We'll be eating Vince Carter's Chef Salad with turkey, a whole grain breadstick, and strawberries. Thursday, we'll be eating Steve Nash's Chicken Parmesan with a whole grain pasta, green beans, and a fruit salad. And to top off the National School Lunch Week, we're going to have teriyaki bowls. Deanna Tassari's Beef and Vegetable Rice Bowl served with an egg roll and orange wedges. Also, to celebrate the National School Lunch Week, we sat down with one of GHS's own cafeteria workers to learn more about their daily routine. Hi, I'm Mark Marr from Lion Direct, and I'm here with one of the lunch ladies here to talk about the National Food Service Week. And first question, how many work in the Greenville High School cafeteria? There are nine of us in the cafeteria. When do you have to arrive to prepare breakfast? About 6.45. It's early. <laughs> early. <laughs> how many people do you prepare food for? A little bit, approximately over 800 kids. <laughs> How long does it take to prepare the food? Pretty much all day, about from 6.30 to about 11 o'clock, 11.15. And what is the daily routine? Well, we come in, we pull our menu, we pull the food that we have to prepare, we break into teams and get it all done. Okay. Uh, this is Mark Marr and reporting from Lion Direct. The April 2009 issue of School Nutrition featured the campaign lunch article for All-Star School Lunch. To download this article now for campaign information, menus, decorating ideas, and some great tips to how to make this the best National School Lunch Week ever, visit www.schoolnutrition.org. Thanks to all of our dedicated cafeteria workers. Lions offering volunteer excellence needs volunteers to help with a fall festival at Bethlehem Baptist Church on Saturday, October 10th. A sign-up sheet is outside Ms. Folden's door. Juniors and sophomores, remember to sign up for the PSAT. There are only 110 <laughs> tests. The cost is $13 and is scheduled for Saturday, October 17th. Katie, how do you like the block scheduling? Oh, it's okay. Let's see what some other students have to say about it. The AV scheduling works well with my classes really well because I'm not overwhelmed with all this homework in one night and then have to give it the next day. And also, I don't have 45 minutes to complete a test. It's nice to have the full hour and a half. 
the AB scheduling works with all my classes. Like, I get equal time with all my teachers, and sometimes I get more time on A days to do homework, so it's pretty cool. What do I think about block scheduling? Well, I really like it. Um, I think it gives students and teachers more one-on-one -on -one time together. I think it provides an opportunity for students to um, have remediation. Um, there's a day between classes, therefore they, they don't have to fall behind. And um, I just think it creates a more relaxed atmosphere um, and it's not so rushed. So that's what I really like about it. Uh, what do I like best? Um, I think that I like that I'm not so busy with all the homework like I have an equal amount of time to finish it and plus all the teachers get to um, prep us for the next class or they get the full 30 one an hour and 30 minutes as well so it's nice learning. Uh, the thing I like best about the schedule is just more time for homework I guess and you don't have to remember like you got a test on a Friday like last year you only had like 45 minutes to finish it and if you didn't finish it you failed. What do I like the most about block scheduling? I like the relaxed atmosphere uh, just being able to um, interact with my students more and the time in class is not so rushed and hectic. What do I least like about the schedule? I think that um, I'm a little bit closer with like my B days teacher, my B day p teachers is because like I see them Tuesday, Thursday, and then Fridays. And so, and then whenever on A days, we usually have a pep rally schedule. So it's like, I feel like I'm getting more out of my B days than I am my A days. That makes sense. I don't like seeing, I don't like having B days two days in a row because too many classes are those are all my hard classes, so, yeah. Uh, what do I like the least about block scheduling? Let's see. Um, there's not a lot. I really uh, think it's beneficial to the students and to the teachers, and um, I guess the least thing would be that it does cause um, conflict sometimes with the kids. They don't remember what day they have what assigned, and there can be some confusion sometimes, but, um, you know, I think it's a minor thing in, in respect to what um, good things are about it. 14 choir students, 13 of whom were selected for the all-region mixed choir and one place as an alternate. Good job, band and choir. Three GHS students earn spots in the regional band and will participate in the regional jazz clinic and concert in December. Senior t-shirts are now on sale during A and B lunch. They are $15 and the money goes towards prom. Hispanic Heritage Month is going on now. Here's Andrew Griffin with more info. What is Hispanic Heritage Month all about? Since 1968, when President Lyndon B. Johnson first started it, America has observed Hispanic Heritage Month. Currently, it starts on September 15th and ends October 15th. Because of the dates encompass major Latin American countries of Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua when they celebrate their independence. Also, Mexico, Chile, and Belize celebrate throughout this month. In addition to celebration of independence, Hispanic Heritage Month is a time set aside to recognize the contribution of Hispanic Americans to the United States and celebrate Hispanic heritage and culture. Throughout the years, various Hispanic people ha have impacted America in some way. The people include Mario Molina, who won the Nobel Prize for Chemistry, actor and singer Antonio Banderas, American Idol runner-up David Archuleta, Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor, actor Eric Estrada, Gloria Estefan, the singer, actor Mario Lopez, actress Penelope Cruz, actress and singer Ros Rosario Dawson, 80th Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez, actress Eva Mendez, actress Salma Hayek, actress and singer Jennifer Lopez, and actor and comedian Georgia Lopez. To celebrate, people are found having fiestas with food and dancing to celebrate their culture. There are major celebration parties, such as the Latino Festival in Washington, D.C., and the Smithsonian showcases Latino art. With their diverse culture and many contributions, the Hispanic people have a reason to celebrate Hispanic Co Heritage Month. There are major celebration parties, such as the Latino Festival in Washington, D.C., and the Smithsonian showcases Latino art. 
With their diverse culture and many contributions, the Hispanic people have reason to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. Gracias, and that's all from Lion Legend.